Is science slowly murdering God? Like, is it true that the more science advances, the less need we have for God to exist? Well, in this video, we're going to be discussing something called the God of the gaps and how I personally think Christians should respond to it. Don't go anywhere. That's coming right up. Hey, I'm Matt, and this is Truth Snack, a channel that tries to help you think through what it is you believe and why. So the God of the gaps is the belief that God plugs up the gaps that we have in our scientific knowledge. God fills the gaps, God of the gaps. You're smart, you get it. Formally, the argument kind of looks like this. We don't understand some aspect of the natural world, therefore the cause is supernatural. Think lightning before we understood the science behind it, God. Or a huge volcanic eruption, God, and he's angry. I guess one strength of God of the Gaps thinking is that it can never ultimately be proven wrong because we'll never understand every single natural phenomenon completely. And as long as there's even one scientific mystery, then people can point at it and say, God. But the greatest weakness of the God of the Gaps is the more scientific knowledge we have, the less we need God. In this scenario, science is slowly killing God and God becomes the enemy of scientific knowledge. It sounds just like the science versus religion talk we're all used to hearing. For the record, I don't think that God and science are enemies because I don't think God is the enemy of any kind of knowledge. God is not expelled from the science lab. Rather, the Bible teaches that there are some things we can learn about God just by observing the natural world. However, I do think that the God of the Gaps argument is a bad argument for God because it argues from a lack of knowledge. There's something we don't know, therefore God, rather than saying there's something we do know, therefore God. So the question is, why do some theists defend the God of the Gaps? In my opinion, I think that theists feel like they have to make science prove God, and sometimes even in ways that it doesn't, because they've bought into this belief that science is the only valuable source of knowledge. And so they'll do things like this. They'll see a protein in the shape of a cross, and they'll claim that that proves that this Bible verse is true. But that's ignoring that there are many sources of knowledge and ways of knowing that God exists, like God revealing himself or having a personal relationship with him or exploring God through philosophy and deductive reasoning. Really, what I'm trying to do in this video is encourage us all to think a little more broadly about how we can discover God. So using all the sources of knowledge available to you, what reasons do you have for believing that God exists? Thanks so much for watching Truth Snack. I hope that this video got you thinking on another level. And if it did and you enjoyed it, why not consider subscribing? Okay, I'll see you next week.